June 23rd, a cyclic supercell produced at least five photogenic tornadoes over the scenic terrain and challenging road network between Chugwater, Wyoming and Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. Initially, the storm looked weak on radar. But a broken window and a funnel cloud, strategically positioned behind a utility pole, said otherwise. Perfect. Beautiful. Cone funnel cloud tickling the ground. Everybody up there is going to try to get run over by it. And we'll just film that happening from right here. Twice, just prior to this tornado, I was driving down similar dirt roads that abruptly ended into prairie oblivion. Despite Google Maps charting, they would carry me through. In rain, these roads are even less wise to be on. Okay, got that. The safest bet to catch the second tornado was to turn back and use the one paved road along with the horde of other chasers. If you look closely in the rear view, you may see the second tornado suddenly develop. This pretty tornado caused no serious damage and vanished as fast as it appeared. A short window to view the third tornado up close slammed shut with rain and hail. To keep it in play, I did exactly what I said you shouldn't do three minutes ago. In my defense, this dirt road looked pretty good. Passing nearby the tiny town Hawk Springs, this EF-2 impaled a tree branch into the side of a home. It damaged small outbuildings, knocking down utility poles and hardwood trees. Time is 6.32, and a pretty good size of tornado just went over Hot Springs. Let's see if there's any way to get to that sucker. Continuing on the back roads, I managed to get within a mile of the next tornado. Time is 6.46. Nice velocity compass, but I don't... Maybe there's something in the rain, I can't tell. There it is. It's occluded. It's behind me. Yeah, it's bull funnel. see it in that rain. It's coming out. Oh, nice. Here she comes. Only
only one other chase vehicle was in sight to bear witness to this ghost of a vortex twirling in white sheets of rain. You guys good? Thank you. Thank you. What do you think? You're my favorite storm chaser of all time. Oh, dude, yeah. you guys rock. This oh. is the most amazing yeah. thing of my life, man. <laughs> oh, I see a puppy dog. Yeah, chaos, boy. <laughs> To get to the fifth tornado, I had to work around the Wildcat Hills and back up to Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, where a tornado warning, baseball-sized hail, and severe winds was spooking locals to evacuate the area. Wrapped in the severe wind and hail, a funnel cloud began to descend, strategically positioned behind this irrigation structure. Does this thing ever end? Perfect. Fun, fun, fun chase today. Man, it was so nice to just surf alongside a slow moving photogenic storm over the beautiful scenery. I haven't looked to see if there's any carnage yet. I'd like to just enjoy the moment before soiling it with Twitter, but hopefully everybody here is okay. I've got about 17 or 18 tornadoes for the year and man, other than today, other than today, I had to fight for every single one of them. They were either moving 50 miles per hour, or it was in the trees, or there was no roads, or it was at night, or all of the above. But uh, the season really ain't over for me until August when I go to Thailand, Cambodia, and the Maldives, a little island nation south of India. So as soon as I'm not clutching a steering wheel or or a pillow, I'll get some of this footage to you. And uh, speaking of pillows, sweet, happy trails, dreams, everyone.